Hi everybody, this is Lisa from Cookery Nation. I'm back to finish off our mustard. Now, yesterday I realized I needed to refill my homemade mustard. So I did a live stream to show you how to make your own mustard. When we left off yesterday, we had about this much mustard seed and this much liquid. And as you can see, all of the liquid has been absorbed by the mustard seed because my seeds were nice and fresh. If you got to this point and you still have quite a bit of liquid, then that tells you your mustard seeds are not that fresh. And I had originally said it can take anywhere from 8 to 48 hours. To get these to absorb. These guys actually managed to get all absorbed, uh, absorb all the liquid very much closer to eight hours. So I just left it. It's okay. It's not going to do anything. Now what we're going to do to finish off this is we're going to add a little bit of salt, about a quarter teaspoon, and then you can either leave it this way, put it in the fridge, or you can pulverize it a little bit. Just break up some of the seeds a little bit, make it a little bit creamier, what have you. I might even add a little bit of turmeric to make it more yellow. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna get some turmeric and I'm gonna get my salt. I'm not gonna move the camera because there's not a lot going on here. Okay, so we're going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt in here. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir. Where are we here? Okay, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a stir. And I'm going to transfer it into this because I'm, I'm not going to get out a big blender. I'm just going to give it a couple little whirls in my magic bullet. So, I'm just going to transfer into here. There we go. Alright, so I just put it in here. I'm going to use the cross blade. Put this on. Put this in here. Now, I'm just going to go. That's enough. That's enough for me for sure. Okay? That's it. So it's just got a little bit more. And yeah, yeah, you can see it looks a lot more. Oops, wrong one. A lot more like this. See? So it's just broken up some of the seeds. But not so much as to make it really hot. Now, if I want to make it more yellow color, then... All I'm going to do, take this off and add like, not a lot, just a little bit. Give this a stir. And now you can see it's a little bit more of that yellow color and you, you can't really taste the turmeric, but it just gives it a little bit more color. There we go. And I'm going to put it back in my jar. is my homemade mustard. Now, a couple things to remember. This needs to sit in the fridge for about a day before you try it because if you try it when it's immediately fresh, it will taste bitter. Leave it for one day, then it's good to go have at her. That is all there is to making your own homemade mustard. And you can see, I sometimes, if I want, I'm just gonna reuse a, a jam jar or whatever. So this is all there is to it. I want you to try. If you do, please let us know, comment below. I'm going to link this video up with the other video so you can watch it start to finish. And uh, I told you it was easy. Go ahead and do it yourself. 
Get yourself some brown and some yellow mustard seeds and give it a try. Okay, guys, until next time, see you later. Follow us, like us, so you know when we're, we're doing a video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.